So maybe you have or maybe you haven't seen this yet, so I'm not going to put you through the pain of watching it again. I will leave the link though if you haven't. I'm just so confused about Francis Chan. He goes on and on saying what wonderful men Bill and Mike are and how when Francis Chan brought up all the things that people were saying about them, they simply showed him how they weren't true. I mean, really? So the fact they have supernatural healing and gift schools and unbiblically teach that we can all prophesy and heal is now true? Teaching that you can prophesy and be wrong 80% of the time and it's okay isn't wrong? He says he's so humbled and so embarrassed about misjudging them and hopes that people from his former camp will see this video. So this crowd that does fake leg lengthening and has fake gold dust coming out of their vents is all kosher now? Really? He says he used to think he was doing it for God when he was pointing out these people that were chasing their fantasies and getting away from the word of God. Called himself arrogant that he was protecting the church from these types of people. Well, that's not arrogant. That's being a good shepherd in protecting the flock from false teachers. Says he was humbled at the One Thing Conference at how much Mike Bickle studies his Bible and that he knows it better than Chan. Really? Mike Bickle that has had trips to heaven and says he stood beside God? The Mike Bickle that wants the Holy Spirit to throw people across the room? The same Mike Bickle that believes in dominion theology and that they have to take over the world for Christ before Jesus can return? So this guy knows the Bible better than you? He finishes off this chat by apologizing profusely that he's hurt God by judging these guys in the past. The fact that Chan is now embracing these guys more than ever and harmonizing with the Catholic Church is what's hurting God. The fact that you're going to lead so many into the false ecumenical movement and unite with Antichrist is what's hurting God. The biggest problem with a clip like this is that it makes people question their own discernment about these false teachers. Chan comes across so humble and it makes you look and think, well, maybe I've been wrong. We need to be careful about calling people out, yet scripture does tell us to point out false teachers and have nothing to do with them. During this clip, Francis makes the statement that he can hear these people say things he doesn't agree with, but that's okay. In one sense, that's true. Not everyone watching the Revealing Truth channel agrees on the timing of the rapture, and that's okay because it's not a salvation issue. But the naive Christian or the not-yet-saved seeker may not be able to differentiate what is okay and not okay to disagree on. We can disagree on whether spiritual gifts have stopped or still continue, but I can't fellowship with someone that says Jesus paid for our sins in hell. I can't fellowship with someone who says being wrong in prophecy is okay and that we can learn spiritual gifts. And I certainly cannot fellowship with someone who says that Catholics and Christians all serve the same God, especially when they have an antichrist pope who says atheists can go to heaven if they're good enough, Jews can go to heaven without Jesus, and that sacraments and works are necessary for salvation. No. I can't be associated with these people except for the purpose of sharing the gospel. In my opinion, I think Francis Chan is past the point of no return, yet I pray God will still open his eyes. What about you? Please leave your thoughts and comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.